Hello friends, this is Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. We've been getting a lot of questions to review smaller, more niche style brands. We've done that in the past. You'll see like we reviewed Stray Dog, Revolt, RPM, and other companies. We wanna make sure we're providing information on a wide swath of equipment. And today's review is an example of that. A very well-designed, absolutely beefy piece of equipment with some really cool customization that I think could be very beneficial for people that want a fold away system. Let me go get it. This is the Bridge Build Phoenix Squat Stand that's designed to go from a compact roll away design into a full squat stand. So let me show you how you take it apart. First off, these stands like come together and they stay together using pins. This whole design is pretty much held together with two three quarter inch hitch pins on the bottom. That's these right here. So the way that you would basically disassemble this or take it from a deconstructed version to a fully constructed version can happen literally in seconds. And I really love this design because it's held together very well using these. They have an optional wheel kit, two optional ones, bigger wheels and littler wheels. These are the larger wheels here and are very well done, have extra grip and are almost like a mini turf tire. Now something I feel like I've got to say, if you'd like to check this out, you can check it out below the like button. We'll put a link there that is an affiliate link if you purchase from there. Bridgebuilt will give us a commission. It supports us if you'd like to do so. It doesn't cost anything extra to you and does help us. Also, Bridgebuilt did send this for review. As you'll see in the review, I'm gonna review it very honestly, tell you the pros and cons like we do every other video, but for transparency's sake, I wanted to let you know. Now, the components on this are very well done, and I'll walk through them, but the ones that kind of matter right now are this brace in the back that holds it together, this handle right here that allows you to move it back and forth, also gives you a place where you can hold on to it while you're moving it, and then these massive, very nice wheels. Something you'll realize about bridge build that I realized pretty quick is they are trying to do the best they can. So this is like the higher end of the market. Now, I don't think their prices are unreasonable. This is made in America goodness. It is very big, thick, overwhelmingly durable, which does mean it's somewhat heavy. This unit is over 150 pounds, which means it's gonna be very stable, but also means it can be a little bit difficult to move depending on how strong you are. But I will say the wheels and the fact that all the weights on the bottom versus the top makes it pretty easy to move around. And the way that you disassemble it is you pull out these hitch pins. Two hitch pins pull out very easily. They're using the spring ball bearings here at the end that just trap in. I actually really like these. And then you simply disassemble it. So you take this piece, pull it out, take this one, fold it out, press this in the middle, and then you, you can leave it like that. I would highly suggest putting in these hitch pins because it's gonna make it more stable and will prevent it from collapsing. And you put it between there and here. And that's it, now you have a rack. So you can go from it being fully disassembled to assembled, folded up on a wall to actually able to use it. Now, there are two other pins you have to put in on either side here and here. Now that you have the pins in, you can go ahead and use it. Now this is designed to be used as a squat stand. They actually make three different height version six foot, seven foot, and eight foot version. The higher ones, well you can get a pull-up bar with all of them, but the higher ones especially, I would recommend getting a pull-up bar. And it's a quick attach system as well. So you put this over the top. So once you get it in both holes in the top, you can then latch it down. Then you put your pin in and now you're locked in. So the top bar actually adds rigidity, which is very nice. And if you get a taller upright, you can use it for pull-ups obviously or you can use it just for increased rigidity on the rack. So you can go from, like I said, a fully disassembled rack against the wall or something, roll it out, and then now you're ready to use it. But because this thing is made beefy and overkill, this thing is very sturdy and it's using very strong components. So 
The uprights are just like we see with most companies. This is an 11 gauge upright, three by three steel. This and the base are using the same tubular steel. One thing that is unique about this, and I'll talk about this a little bit later, is the hole size. This hole size is three quarter inch. The three quarter inch hole size is a detriment because you can't use every other attachment, but it's nice because they're making quite a few accessories that work with this one, and I'll talk about those more in a moment. It's using a similar triangle design that we see with most squat stands. That's these plates right here. This is what allows the basically the base to connect to the upright. They're using grade eight hardware. This is actually something they mention often. That's the hardware you see right here. That's a higher end hardware than what we see from most companies. And they're using it with like a gold yellow zinc coating. I don't think the zinc coating really adds much extra other than corrosion resistance, but I do like that they use it because it is different from most people in the industry. In fact, they use gold oftentimes in their stuff. Like we've done a review on one of their barbells and it is sick with a gold zinc very similar to this. I like the touch, it separates them from many of the other companies in the industry. As you see on the upright, they're laser cutting every hole. So they go all the way from one up to, on this one, 41, 41, and it's every single hole on both uprights. It's a very nice touch, just easy to use. It's included in the cost. It's something they do standard on all of the racks. Now, one thing that's unique on these is you'll see this, is they've got the laser cut numbers, but they also have these like extra oval holes here. Let me know in the comments if you know why these are here. I don't know if they're making an accessory in the future that attaches to these. Every accessories I've seen them make, but it's just something that I think may offer additional use in the future, or it may offer use that I just don't know about and I couldn't find online. Let me know in the comments. Now, I didn't know what these were until Sam let me know what they were, and it's kind of surprising what they are. This allows you to attach carabiners. Really, the benefit I could see for that is if you're using bands or something, you could attach carabiners, um, or if you want to hang things on the rack. The problem is if you hang things on the rack while your J-cups are there, they're going to kind of get in the way. So I guess you could attach chains or something when you're not using the rack, or you can attach bands. I think it's kind of a cool idea. I just wish maybe there was some sort of thing that went in there that was another attachment other than a carabiner. That's kind of what I thought it was, but interesting enough. Now onto kind of the customization and accessories. So these are the J-Cups that came with this rack. These are custom made for us. As you can see, these things are beautiful. They're thinking of a lot of unique things and doing them very well. This is an example. This J-Cup is very heavy. It uses the gold zinc rod on the back that if you wanted to upgrade or change it to a one inch, you could because it's, it's actually screwed on, which is very nice and you can buy replaceable ones from the company. They have UHMW on all parts of the J-Cup. So they have it on the back, the side of the hook, the back of the hook, and also on the front and the lip. So a lot of companies will do lots of that, but what they often don't do is do this front lip. When you're actually grinding your bar into the front, which people do every time they lift, that's a nice thing that they've added. And I also love the clear. The clear is pretty cool. They actually offer clear with a bunch of different like customized options. This one has our 8-bit barbell logo, the old logo, which I think is pretty cool. And it has that same like clear grind in the background. I really like that. Now, because you have to have some half safety spots when you're lifting by yourself. For safety, they make a pair. And if it looks like I'm kind of exhausted from lifting these, I am. These things are so heavy for how little space they take up. They're using seven gauge throughout, I think the entire thing. Like I'm pretty sure this tube steel is seven gauge as well. I love how small they are. Many safety bars that are out there, they're very tall, which is maybe nice for like deflecting loads, but I don't think it increases the strength that much where people need it. I would rather have it shorter so I can get it lower. This allows you to put it quite low, nearly at the bottom that you could use for floor press or things like that to protect you. Now these very similar J cups are very well done and are also available customized. So these ones have the clear plate, clear acrylic over the top and then have our name underneath them with the clear grind. They are, like I said, very heavy, but also if you notice their welds are just so clean. Like the welds on these are just 
beautiful. And that kind of points to everything on this rack, from the powder coat to the welds, everything is over the top and really well done, yet also provides, I think, some ingenuity. And the ingenuity mostly comes in the idea that you can put it together and fold it away. I don't know of many other racks, and you can let me know in comments if you do, many other racks that work in this way that allow you to fold up, especially ones that are very well built and use this similar construction that we see from higher end racks. So here's kind of the pros I see. Number one, this thing is very sturdy when it's put up. Like when you're using it, it's very sturdy. It's over 150 pounds. The higher the upright, obviously the heavier it'll be, but including the J-Cups, over 150 pounds, which is very nice for stability. It can also be moved around. I think that's the biggest one is just fold away. The fact that you can remove the hitch pins very quickly, fold it away and add wheels to it and move it somewhere else, I think there's just not a lot of racks like that. So it's nice to be able to have an option for a very high-end rack that also folds away other than one that's mounted on the wall because that doesn't work for everybody if you're in an apartment or something like that where you can't do things on the wall. In addition to that, just the overall quality of this is like next level. Like this is a similar level of quality as we see from like a Rogue or Sorenex. If I had a rack like this versus a Sorenex side by side, like honestly, they would feel very similar if they didn't have the logos on them. It's that well made and made in America. I really love the customization options. I love the thoughtfulness through some of the like the carabiner holes or like the UHMW on the front of the lip or the customization design or the addition of wheels on the side or some of their accessories that are coming out that work just for this. So an example of that is their lat pull down that actually has the rollers on the upright. Now have a low pulley as well. Different things like that, that they're trying to build out an ecosystem for their rack, I think is very cool and something I really like. But the cons, because there are some, number one is like this is a premium product. It's made by a smaller company, but this is made in America using very high quality components, a lot of thoughtfulness, and a design that really nobody else has. So the base price for the six foot rack is 799 bucks. That does not include shipping, which can get kind of expensive because they're a smaller retailer. So when you compare that to other options, that seems like a lot, but then when you get into the details, it's like, man, that actually seems like, that, that's not a price that when I see it, I'm like, oh, that's a terrible value. That's way overpriced. I actually think that's okay for the quality, where it's made, the size of the company and the components that are involved. But that can be a con for some people because it's much more expensive than say a squat stand from Titan or somebody like that. Another one is the weight. So it's a benefit in that it's very stable, but some people are not gonna be strong enough to really wanna disassemble this and put it up every time. Like I could see that getting kind of annoying just because it's so heavy. So the benefit there is obviously that it's stable. The downside is that it's over 150 pounds and you've got to disassemble it, take the pins out, pop it up, put it together, and then fold it away every time you use it. Now, I could see some people just figuring out a way to just leave it stable all the time. You know, they're like thinking, oh, I'm gonna put this away every time, then it comes in and it's pretty heavy. But if you're needing that feature, this is really one of the only options you've got. And then here's the last con, and this one is pretty annoying to me. I really wish they wouldn't have gone with the three quarter inch holes. To me, that's like, for exclusivity, which is nice if you're offering a huge suite of an ecosystem, but there are many things that Bridgebuilt does not offer for this that other companies do. They do have some things like leg rollers and they have the pulley attachment, but they don't have things like jammer arms or like hip thruster pads or some of those things that you find on other racks that you would love to be able to use on this rack. I love that they're using three by three upright. I wish they would just start making an option that has one inch holes. Like I don't really see a reason for the three quarter inch holes other than like to keep people within your ecosystem. And I don't think that's a good enough reason to offer it. So bridge built, if you're, I know you're watching. If you're watching this, uh, please come out with a one inch hole version. Cause I would love to use all the attachments that I have from other companies to adapt to this rack as the foundation. And so that's the final part of my review is it's very well made. This thing is very well done. Like some of the customization on here is so sick. Like they put my name on here and I don't just like it because I like myself and my name. Like it just looks really good with the clear grind in the back, the clear acrylic over the top, the clear grind, their logo that's cut in. It's just really well done. And there are other 
accessories are very similar. So an instance of this is their flat bench. This is their Phoenix flat bench that folds up very similar to the rack. So it could fold all the way like this and then fold out, you use pop pins. It's very heavy, again, like the rack. Like that's their ethos, right? Like that's their design orientation. It's towards bigger and stronger. So this, <laughs> this bench really epitomizes that, but if you are into that bigger, stronger, want more weight, this thing is well designed because it folds up and can store out of the way with the rack. I've noticed with anything I've had from them, it's just really well done. It's very well thought through. I'm a big fan of what they're doing over at Bridge Build. If you'd like to check any of them out, you can check it out at the link below the like button. There are some things obviously that I would like to see changed and I called those out specifically the holes, which is freaking annoying, but overall, yeah, I'm impressed with this rack and I'm impressed by a bunch of people that have used it. Like oftentimes when I do these reviews, I'll go on Reddit or a Facebook group, but I will check to see what other people think of it that have a lot of use with the product. And this is one that I've seen very few of any negative reviews, which is pretty cool. Now, like all product products, we do use them when we test them. This one specifically was a bit unique. When I moved from my old garage gym to my new garage gym, this is the rack that I used. I really liked it because I was moving things in and out all the time. So being able to fold it up, put it out of the way was a very nice feature. One thing that I did notice that is worth noting and I do think is a con is that it's not crazy stable when it's up against the wall. So I have a bunch of kids that are always running around pulling on stuff in the garage. I was a little, uh, I don't know, I was a little scared that it would follow them because once you fold it up, put it on the wall, depending on where you put the wheels, it could either slide out or slide over. Something I would like to see from them is some sort of mount to hold it up against the wall. So just to keep it stable there. What I did was I had like one of those gear hooks and I just wrapped a bungee cord around it to keep it up against there when it wasn't fully set out. Now all these accessories are bought separate except the J cups. You can get obviously separate like different J cups. They actually have a roller sandwich J cup that's pretty cool. But if you just want the standard J cups they come with it. But things like the pull up bar and the half safety bars as well as the wheels are additional cost if you want those more bougie features. Okay. This has been Coop from Garage and Reviews. Have you seen this rack before? Do you have one? Let me know in the comments what you think of it, and we'll see you next time. Peace.